it. We would like to know if this not parentheses P and Q versus not P and not Q, if they are logically equivalent or not. And to figure this out, we will just have to use a truth table. And let's just go ahead and set that up. We have P and Q, so we need a total of four rows. Right here, I need to have true, true, and then false, false. And for Q, it can be true, false, true, false. So let's go ahead and work this out right here. We are looking at P and Q. And this is an end statement, so they must be both be true in order to be true. So true and true is true. If one of them is false, or well, both of them are false, well, this will be false. So the rest right here will just be all false. And then we'll just have to negate this thing right here. So we're looking at not P and Q. Then in that case, we are just going to negate all this, so we get false, true, true, true. Okay, let's take a look at this now. I'm going to first negate P, and then I will have to negate Q. So now P will be false, false, and then true, true. And then now Q is going to be false, true, false, true. And then finally, we will just have to put the end statement in between and see what happens. Right here is not P and not Q. Both of them are false, so it's false. But here, this is false, this is true. Well, the conclusion is false. Likewise, here is also going to be false. And this and that is true. As you can see, Right here, this column, it's not exactly the same as this column right here because these two entries are different. So this right here, I will tell you, they are not logically equivalent. And the idea right here is that this is not the correct way to distribute a not statement. Well, if you have a not and if the inside is an end statement, you will have to change that to an or. So let's fix that a little bit. So here, this is logically equivalent to not P, but you change the N to an OR, and then we have not Q. And this right here is known as the De Morgan's Law. And yes, there's also another version if the inside here is an OR, but I will write that down for you guys later. Right here, we are just going to check this with what we had earlier. So we are looking at not P or not Q. This time it's just an OR statement, so as long as one of them is true, then the whole thing is true. But if both of them are false, then this is still going to be false. Here, false, true. Well, that will be true now, and this time this is true, and likewise the last one is also true. So as you can see, this matches exactly with that, so you can see that they are logically equivalent. Another version is that I will tell you, Note, if you're trying to distribute a not, and uh, if the inside is P or Q, this will be not P, and you change this to an N, and then not Q. So this is like how you distribute the negative. Well, here's one more thing though. Besides the end or, there's also an implication. So how do we distribute a not among uh, implication. Let's talk about that. So here's the question. If we have an implication, P implying Q, and we are going to negate that, are we just going to get not P, and then keep the implication, and then negate the Q, like this? Well, I will tell you, this is actually not correct. And to see that this is not logically equivalent to that, you can set a truth table. I'm going to leave that to you. So how exactly can we do this? Well, the key is that last time I mentioned when we have an implication, we can actually change it to an OR statement. So here's a quick note. When we have P implying Q, this is logically equivalent to not P or Q. So I'm going to put this right here for that. So this becomes not, not P or Q. 
Q. Now we have an OR statement inside, so we can use the Morgan's law. So this is going to be logically equivalent to not, not P, which is just going to be P. And then when we distribute, and this is an OR, we will have to flip it to an AND. And then we will have to negate this, which is going to be not Q. So as you can see, when we have the negation of an implication, what's going to happen is that the condition is true, but the conclusion is false. And, right? So it's just like if P stands for if it's Sunday, and Q stands for I will go play basketball, P implying Q means if it's Sunday, then I will go play basketball. If that's not true, which is the negation for that, we will get it's Sunday, however, I am not playing basketball. Okay, I will show you guys that this is logically equivalent to that, and we'll use the truth table. Here we go. P and Q, so we need four rows. P, Q, and then one, two, three, four. And then true, true, false, false. And then true, false, true, false. First, let's do this inside out. So I need the implication here. So P implying Q, if it's true implying true, we get true. True implying false, that is false. But if it's false implying true, that is true. If it's false implying false, that is true. Remember when we have implication, if the condition which is the P, if it's false, then it doesn't matter what happens to the conclusion. And then we have to negate that. So negation of P implying Q. So we just have to negate all this. So we will get false, true, false, false. Now, P, we already have that. So I need a not Q. Not Q, I just have to negate all this, which is false, true, false, true. And finally, I need P and not Q. So we are looking at this and that. And it's an end statement, so we better have both of them being true in order to be true. So true and false, that will be false. True and true, hey, that is true. False and false, that is very false. Lastly, false and true, that is still going to be false. So there you have it. This is the same as that. So they are logically equivalent.